The slime hutch can be bought from Robin for the price of 10,000 gold, 500 stone, 10 refined quartz, and one iridium bar. After the hutch is built, Marlin will visit you and give you your first slime egg, and from now on, all green, blue, red, purple, and tiger slimes now have a 1% chance of dropping an egg of their color. But how exactly are slime hutches going to make us any money? You would think that maybe killing them for their high-valued eggs and other drops would result in some cash, but after killing 300 of each of the slimes to see what each kill is worth, well, I'll save you some time and just let you know this isn't worth it. So let's look to another means of profiting from the slime hutch. Your hutch will produce one slime ball overnight for every five slimes that live there. So if you have four slimes, you won't produce any, but as soon as you get that fifth one, you'll start making one per day. You make profit off of these slime balls because when you harvest them, they produce an average of 15.1 slime as well as 0.5 petrified slime. Slime on its own can be sold for five gold a piece, but if you put 100 slime into the slime press, it will produce one of these four slime eggs. Side note, I wanted to know if the wiki's data was up to date with the 1.5 update, and after looking into the code, it looks like these drop rates haven't changed, and as such, there's no chance of getting a tiger slime egg. Still though, because of how much these eggs are worth, we'll be able to make a pretty penny by turning the slime we get from these slime balls into eggs and selling them. Since there's a maximum of 20 slimes per building, you can get up to four slime balls per day, but only if there's enough water in the troughs. But that won't be an issue because as of the 1.5 update, sprinklers can now be used to fill the water troughs in your slime hutch without you needing to do anything. This is the exact reason that slime hutches are actually worth having now. No one wanted to deal with watering their slime hutch every day just to make less money than you would by planting some crops there, but now you can leave it alone for a week or more and rack up some passive income. So then, let's talk about exactly how to do this. Hey, if this video ends up helping you out, leaving a like helps it do a lot better on YouTube, and if you've liked a few of my things, consider subscribing. I also stream live at twitch.tv slash unsurpassablez, and I would love to have you there. I should also say that it's possible to raise slimes outdoors using the incubator, but since they won't produce any slime balls outside, we won't be looking at that. We're going to eventually want 20 slimes, and when dealing with so many in close quarters, it becomes very helpful to have the slime charmer ring. Although it's not necessary, when you wear it, it will prevent slimes from hitting you, and it will help you out a ton when you're setting things up. To get it, you need to complete the monster eradication goal in the Adventurer's Guild by killing a thousand slimes. This is a little tough, but like I said, this isn't a requirement, only something to save you a headache. Although filling the troughs with water is a requirement to produce slime balls, the slimes don't need to be able to physically get to the trough to still do their job. This means you can fence them in anywhere you want to where they're out of the way. Plan out where you want your slimes to be and either corral your existing ones to that spot and trap them with fences, or start fresh and have your perimeter enclose the incubator. You can make more of these incubators if you want to, but I don't think it's necessary. It can also be nice to have a double set of gates to gain access to the pen so that slimes can't accidentally escape. Slime ball production has nothing to do with what kind of slimes are present, and I haven't found any benefit to having a particular kind of slime in the hutch, so you can just use 20 of whatever kind makes you happy. You can either put slimes into the slime incubator to get your 20, or you can wait for them to repopulate naturally to fill up. Slime eggs take 3 days and 6 hours to hatch, but if you have the Coopmaster profession, they will only take 1 day and 15 hours. If you want them to reproduce, you need at least 1 male and 1 female, and as you can see, the males have this little antenna. I had an issue for a while in my own hutch where I would have to go into the pen to retrieve the produced slime balls, but there's a way around this. Slime balls won't spawn where there's flooring, so all you need to do is place flooring down within the pen to prevent you from ever needing to enter the area. Like we said, we'll want the troughs to be filled up via sprinklers, so either place one iridium sprinkler towards the middle or use multiple smaller ones. That's all that's necessary, but if you want to step your game up, you can house the slime presses that we talked about here, as well as a chest to hold your slime charmer ring, slime, and petrified slime. There's also a random event where the witch flies over your slime hutch and turns all of the slimes into black or transparent ones but if you want to prevent that, you can place a wicked statue inside. Once you've set all of this up, you should be able to just leave your slime hutch alone for around a week at a time, stopping in only to collect your rewards. So how much money can you expect to make from having a slime hutch? Well, you get four slime balls per day, and each of those produce 15.1 slime, giving you 60 slimes per day. This is equivalent to six tenths of a slime egg, since you need to put 100 slime into the slime press to get one. If we take a weighted average of the prices and rarities of the different eggs you can get out of the press, we see that the average slime egg is worth right around 1500 gold. Six tenths of an egg per day at 1500 gold per egg reveals that we can expect to make 908 gold every day from our slime hutch. When we factor in the extra petrified slime that we get, we can see that it's actually closer to 991 gold per day. Is this the fastest money making method? No. But the flexibility of only having to check it every once in a while makes it worth having on your farm if you want a more passive means of income. Sure, we can instead use that space to grow starfruit and make around 1.8 times more profit, but this game isn't always about being 100% optimal. I think that if you want the full Stardew Valley farming experience, you should have a little bit of everything on your farm, so why not have a slime hutch? But if you're a hyper-efficient machine when it comes to playing this game, put some kegs or preserves jars in there and call it a day. 
I truly hope this video was helpful for you guys and I wish you luck on your slime hutch journey in the future. Thank you guys for all the support lately and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.